Hi, my name is Allie and I'm your assistive technology professional. Today we're going to go over some different aspects to consider when trying to determine the best seat to floor height for the end user. So seat to floor height is just from the floor all the way to the seat pan, not including that seat cushion. Um, so some different aspects, with the first aspect to consider is definitely their activities of daily living. So what they do on a daily basis all day, which would make include their transferring, uh, maybe pulling up to a desk or their workspace, or even engaging with the community and their peers. So especially in pediatrics, it's very important to consider that last aspect of engaging with their peers as it's super important to their overall development. So this is a pediatric chair, which would allow them to be on level with their peers and engage with them. Um, so, in this, so in a manual chair, the seat to floor height is fixed. However, in a power chair, you can add a seat height elevator, which allows the user to choose at which height they want to be for each different activity. So I'll show you what it does. Typically the range is 12 inches um, of height. So here we go, we're going up. So this is great, they want to reach into cabinets, be on level with the adult population. Um, and then we can also see, we're almost there. Okay, and then we'll go, go all the way down. And then this would be helpful for transferring on to, to different surfaces such as this mat. So I'll show you in just a second when we get down, it's much easier to transfer from this height rather than something higher. So we're all the way down and this makes it an easier sliding transfer for the user from here to here. And another important aspect to consider maybe in a manual chair would be how the user is going to propel. So if they're going to propel with their feet, we want to make sure that it is low enough so that they can um, get that proper heel strike so they can do this all day and not get tired or uh, injure their hamstring or their, their knees. Um, and then also, as I mentioned, seat to floor height is from the floor to the seat pan. So the overall seat to floor height can definitely be affected by cushion choice. So that's just something that we want to consider uh, when we're making all these deci decisions. So this one you can see very, very fluffy up at the front, which would allow the user's legs to be a little higher. Whereas this one is pretty flat. So it's probably about an inch or so difference. So that's just something we need to consider when we're making all these decisions. If you have any questions, leave some comments and we'll be happy to help.